Prayer for Thanksgiving and Praise Thanksgiving and praise are offerings that God will never reject if done in good faith and in righteousness. The Bible makes it clear that the presence of God dwells where He is praised. Psalms 22 verse 3 But you are holy, enthroned in the praises of Israel. The presence of God is invited or is brought down through the offering of praise and thanksgiving. When you offer God praise or give Him thanks, you qualify for a reward of blessings as payment. We sing, praise and give God thanks, apart from that it is deserving of Him but also as fulfillment of our duty to Him. And when we give God quality thanks, we remind Him of our needs or what is still left undone in our lives. Praises and thanksgiving spiritually are called sacrifice. Hence the Bible says in Hebrews 13 verse 15. By Him therefore let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips giving thanks to His name. Praise and thanksgiving are sacrifices that bring down God's presence and power down onto our situation. In Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 26, the Bible says, And they shall come from the cities of Judah, and from the places about Jerusalem, and from the land of Benjamin, and from the plain, and from the mountains, and from the south, bringing burnt offerings, and sacrifices, and meat offerings, and incense, and bringing sacrifices of praise, unto the house of the Lord. Until praises and thanksgiving are given, our services or sacrifices to God cannot be complete. Even in our prayers, commencement with praises and thanksgiving have been prescribed as the correct entry protocol. It says in Psalms 100 verses 3 to 5. Know ye that the Lord he is God, it is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves, we are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Verse 4. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise, be thankful unto him, and bless his name. Verse 5. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. You hear it. That, to come into God's court, we have got to do it with praises and thanksgiving. And when we offer God praises and thanksgiving we also attract as many benefits and benevolence. For instance, when we praise God, we invite Him to fight our battles, especially the ones that we cannot fight with our strength and might. We saw this in 2 Chronicles 20, from verses 2 through 23. When many nations besieged the Israelites for either extermination or to take them into captivity or slavery. The Bible says in verse 21 of that chapter, And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness, as they went out before the army, and to say, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever. Verse 22. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. Verse 23. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them, and when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, every one helped to destroy another. And our Lord Jesus Christ, in teaching us the protocols of prayers, urged us to start with praises. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 After this manner therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let us pray. Everlasting Father King of Glory, as the Scripture entreats Dearest Lord, I enter into your presence this hour with thanksgiving and with praises. Thank you first and foremost for the gift of life and for the salvation of my soul. Thank you Dearest Heavenly Father for the gift of your Son the Lord Jesus Christ, who came and died for the salvation of mankind of which I am one of them. As the Scripture makes me understand in John 3 16-17. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Thank you also dearest Father Lord for the resurrection of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior on the third day, and for crowning him and giving him the name above every other name. That at the mention of the name, every kneel bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus is the Lord. Thank you Father, for the gift of this name. Thank you dear Lord Jesus Christ, for accepting to come and die for the sins of man. Indeed dearest Lord, you are worthy of our praises and thanksgiving. Thank you dearest Father Lord, 
for your benevolence and your continuous provisions, providence and cares. Dearest Lord, we are most grateful unto you for your grace of sustenance, patience and forgiveness. For if it were not for your mercy, we would have been consumed, but your grace and mercy has kept and have been sustaining us. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you dearest Heavenly Father, for your continuous protection of the life you have given us. Left for the enemies, they would have snuffed life out of us, but Father, for your mercies and graces you haven't allowed them, Lord, we are indeed full of thanks. Thank you also dearest Heavenly Father, for deliverance and healings of our soul from the traps of the devil, the traps of sins and temptations. Thank you for the gift of healing which your word says is our bread according to Mark chapter 7 verse 27. But Jesus said to her, Let the children be filled first, for it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. Thank you dearest Father for your diverse blessings upon my life. The blessings of wife, husband, children, love, home, and a host of other material and non-material blessings. Indeed Lord, it pays to know and to serve you. Thank you dearest Lord, for making me to know you, very important, in Jesus' precious name we pray. I pray for you now. Everlasting Father, I thank you for the lives of my listeners. God as they have come to you with thanksgiving and praises, dearest Lord, I pray that you receive their sacrifices of praises and give them the rewards of the faithfuls. In the name of Jesus Christ, let their prayers and thanksgiving give return unto them as blessings, turn around and diverse breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, let their praises be like a war instrument in their mouths for the destruction and demolition of their enemies, in the name of Jesus Christ. And for their celebration of you with praises and thanksgiving, may celebration henceforth never depart from their homes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you dearest Father Lord, for answer to these prayers, for in Jesus name I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.